Hey there and welcome to the AlaskaFlyFishingGoods.com online fly tying tutorial. Today we're going to show you how to tie the Molroid. Conehead Molroid. It's a great fall rainbow fly. You've got the flesh and the added attraction of a bead hanging out the back there. We've already got our setup here with our 8mm bead and our 40 pound test spectra. So I'm going to go ahead and show you how to do this. I've got a uh, cream rabbit chunk here that's uh, from a zonker strip. I've got this uh, about the last three-eighths of, of an inch, maybe a uh, quarter to three-eighths of an inch cut down with no hair, what I'm going to do is I'm going to use that as my tie-in point. But I'm not going to use the thread to tie-in. I'm going to use liquid thread, Zappa Gap here. I'm going to go about a half inch up in the hook eye and run about a quarter inch bead of uh, Zappa Gap. I'm going to set my leather here and then I'm going to wrap that little chunk of leather forward once or twice here and stick that down. If you need a little bit right there at the end to stick it down, go ahead and use it. For the actual uh, for the actual wrapping of the rabbit onto the chassis, I'm going to use what's called Tear Mender. It's a super flexible waterproof cement. It's really good. Looks like this. I've got a bunch here down in a uh, in a little cup and I got my toothpick full of it right here. So I'm going to go ahead and put some of that on then I'm going to spread out about a half inch. Once you get it down, see it starts to already tack there. Once you get it down on this stuff, you got to work kind of quickly, somewhat quickly. You know, that's got about 30 seconds of tack time there. So I'm going to sort of loosely wrap this rabbit because we're going to pinch it down here at the end. And we're just going to go forward along that glue line we get right up to the last little chunk where we put the glue down. About right there we're going to start to run out of tear mender. So I'm going to maintain, maintain tension on that rabbit. And then I'm going to take my handy dandy barb pinchers here and I'm going to kind of squeeze that a couple times. I'm not really going to get in there because then that will tend to cut the uh, hair off the hide. But I definitely want to make sure it's set. The other thing you can do is if you don't have a pair of barb pinchers, just kind of squeeze it with your hands. I just like the, the pinpoint pressure you get with these here. So you can see we still got a little bit of ways to go here, so I'm going to clear some of that hair out of the way, get more tear mender, and I'm going to go all the way up to where our spectra goes onto the hook here. It's going to take about three good wraps. Two is the last one three and then one onto the shank for good measure. Once we get on the shank, since the shank's not flexible here, that's when you can go back to your zappa gap. So we'll put a bead of that down really fine. You don't want to necessarily make it just, you know, you don't want to make the hook wet with it. Just enough to get this stuff stuck down. So we're going to go to we're all the way up into the cone head with the last wrap like so, and then I'm going to cross into that with my thread and try to pull it in to the cone head. And then I'm going to clip this off so I can kind of tuck it back under the cone head. Try to take off as little hair as possible there. And then sort of pull it back in to make sure it's going to be stuck in there. That's just about to the end. We're going to whip that real quick here. And then clip that off. We'll drop this hook out. And then I'm going to show you how to clip this trailer to get it nice and tight in there. You can see there's this little hole in there where the hook comes out. Well, I'm going to take a pair of uh, cutters here. And I'm going to grab that hook way up high, like so, and then I'm going to clip off the point. There's that. And then you can see there's kind of this little open sort. You can see where that sort of sticks out. You know, that's, it's a small detail. I don't think the fish really mind. But what I like to do is I like to put a little drop of super glue right in there where the two pieces of rabbit come together and then kind of close them over the top of the hook shank. And then, voila, it's all hidden. So with all that, 
that's how you tie the molroid.